Yeah, we're not way out there, man. Is anybody seeing the person that's doing the shooting? I have not, I am, I'm very scared. Okay. Today, we will do a deep dive into the manifestos and disturbed minds who carry out disturbing acts such as murder, mass murder, slash mass shootings. Let's get into it. The basement tapes were a series of videos made by the perpetrators of the Columbine school shooting, which took place on April 20th, 1999. The tapes that were not released allegedly took place just 30 minutes before the shooting spree, which claimed the lives of 15 people, including the shooters. They were supposedly destroyed in 2011, 12 years after the mass shooting. One tape by the name of Rampart Range shows the shooters at a shooting range in the hills of Colorado. It shows them joking and laughing while shooting at trees. This takes place only a little over a month before their killing spree that killed 13 innocent people. On May 23rd, 2014, a shooter opened fire on the streets of Santa Barbara, California, killing three and wounded dozens more. Police later found three bodies in the killer's apartment. They also discovered the manifesto the killer sent to family and friends moments before opening fire. He stated how he was quote unquote rejected by women and how he blamed the whole world for his problems. And it gave me a chuckle about how overdramatic it was. Ricardo Lopez was a Uruguayan pest exterminator in Hollywood, Florida. He created a dozen video diaries of him saying he wanted to kill Icelandic pop star Björk because he saw her as a, quote, daughter figure in his life. He also was upset about Björk dating a black man. He would also go on racist tirades regularly on camera. And on September 12th, 1996, after months and months of creating his masterpiece, he sent an acid spraying mail. He then shot himself on camera as he fell out of frame and groaned. His blood can be heard spilling on the floor and behind him, after he fell, revealed a disturbing poster and it said, the best of me, September 12th. 